Nigga, A Game Sports Talk Radio. We back from our music break. Hope y'all enjoying the. Hope y'all enjoy the podcast. Got the homie Jatim Young on the phone, former Big Ten and Western star. We just got through talking NBA basketball, talking Lazo Ball and them Lakers. Uh, right now we're gonna talk about them Bulls. Uh, you see the game last night, Lot? What, what, what's your whole assessment of it, man? Marketing. Now, before I got off the air, I said the Bulls are exciting to watch. And a lot of people, they probably going to get behind the mic and they're going to say, man, what are you talking about? You just a biased Bulls fan. But really, I'm not. They they really are exciting to watch, man. Like when Dunn is in the game, it's like I'm glued to it because he brings a different element that Grant don't bring. Grant don't bring enough tenacious defense to these opposing point guards in order to cause some chaos in order to switch the game over to his favor. You get what I'm saying? See, like, Dunn, Dunn give these guards fits. And also, he's quick. And, 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 and you know what? He's aggressive and he's not scared to go to the basket. He's not just going to rely on a three-point shot. That's another thing that is missing in the whole NBA game, too. That whole, that whole art of the, of the two-pointer, the 15-footer, 12-footer. What happened to it? I was like, this kid got that, man, he got the package. He, he's ready. I thought he was going to have a breakout, you know, year. I thought he was going to have a year like kind of how Chris Paul had when he came out of Wake Forest. Mm-hmm. You know, he played under Thibodeau. Thibodeau, really not that good, you know, with rookies. And, you know, he's starting to get his confidence back. Hoiberg is kind of letting him do his thing. And, you know. Why is he not starting? getting more and more games. He's playing well. Why is he not starting him? Because uh, Grant, you know, they, they, you know, Grant was the guy last year, played in the playoffs, played for Bulls. So that's the reason why. You know, kind of that, you know, you are a better guy um, type thing, and he should be. But I think if he continue to put up numbers that he put up yesterday and continue to impact the game like he impacted yesterday and he's more consistent, oh, you will see uh, Grant coming off the bench. I, man, that need that need to happen fast because that's a different turnaround for when the Bulls start off. The, the, the last game, the game before, they they scored like I forgot who they played. They they scored seven points. And they, as a matter of fact, against OKC, it was seven to twenty-seven in that first quarter, all because of there was no real production on the point guard side. There was no real setup. There was no real person out there to run that offense to get them people in their place. Well, why I, I can understand, yeah, he's our veteran point guard. He was there last year, but at some point in time, veterans fall off, man. And you got to go with what's, yeah. what's going to work for you. Free. Um, one thing I have started to notice is Denzel Valentine. You know, I think, um, you know, uh, your coach is, you know, putting a little bug in his ear. Or you called that, too. You called that, too, on the last podcast. You said you wanted to see more of him. Yeah, you said you wanted to see more of him, and that's what happened, too. Yeah. Like, you want to see Denzel on the ball on the floor a little bit more. Uh-huh. Up the court, start to make a few, you know, not much, but more than he had been. Exactly. You know, him in the corner and zip to uh, being a ball creator and, and being a playmaker creating off the dribble. Like, why you got zips for creating and you got to do that was the college player of the year, final four material, big team player of the year, and he not creating the ball. And that's what he's been doing. It's all right. So you start to see more and more of that. Exactly. With the way Dunn is playing and the way they have it, uh, Dunn and Valentine kind of tag teaming off each other and giving the Bulls a spark. Mm hmm. Hey, the Bulls constructed. A nice team. The Bulls facilitated is horrible. I this dude Hoyberg, I really don't think he know what he do. He know what he got going on, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not a I'm not a fan of him, Cadillac. I ain't gonna lie. I, I haven't been a fan of him. I, I was against the whole Tom uh, Thibodeau firing because. I felt like they really didn't give him the personnel that he needed in order to show that show what he got, but he turned goddamn it shit into sugar, and you let him go. But you get you supply this dude with everything that he needed, and he's still not producing how you want him to. So it's like, why is the dude still? 
calling the shots, man. Thibodeau was going to do things his way, and he didn't care what John Paxton thought or said. Hoiberg is going to say, what do you want me to do, sir? I don't know. <laughs> and that was the difference. That's why Thibodeau is no longer in Chicago. When the Bulls ended up making that run in the playoffs with Nate Robinson, what John Paxton wanted to do was have the Bulls kind of rest all the guys in the season, uh, get going, going to the draft, and, and, and get Jabari Park. Uh-huh. That was the plan. Timber had a meeting with the team, and he said this. If any one of y'all, you know, try to, you know, take the season, man, you will not play next year. All of those boys said, all right, we hooping. And they ended up uh, beating Brooklyn. Uh, that's when Nate Robinson went crazy in the playoffs, and they ended up losing to LeBron and them. That's when Derrick Rose set out or whatever. Right. So the upper management didn't like that. They didn't like, you know, that Tim Doe was, like, kind of saying things to his own hand. So they was just like, man, forget that, man. Like, we got to get a coach that's going to do what we want. And that's what Hoiberg, because even when Hoiberg was at Iowa State, he had a Final Four team, and them boys lost the second round. Like, like three years in a row, he had a Final Four team. And all three years in a row, they lost like in the first or the second round of the tournament. Should that shouldn't that warn you as as a as an NBA owner, as an NBA GM, as an NBA organization? Shouldn't that warn you like, okay, he give me good money during the season, but when it's time to really put that money on the line, he really don't cash in. Shouldn't that warn you? Wouldn't that have warned you? Oh, yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? And that's why San Antonio win. That's why Golden State win. Because they don't do dumb stuff like that. You know what I mean? But, you know, for uh, Chicago, uh, I mean, those are the decisions we've been making. And, uh, I, mean, I mean, it goes with, with, from the management, from the coaches, all the way to, you know, how the players are playing. And, and, and that's why, like you said, I could, you, could look at, you could look at the kind of style they play and say, Man, they got some players. They got some talent out there. They do. But, you know, when you look at how everything is structured, it, 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 you know, it makes it, it makes it a lot worse than what it is. Yeah, yeah. You are, you are exactly right, man. And there is, it's just a crazy situation in Chicago. Yes, I am a diehard Bulls fan. And yes, I am going to watch whoever's who's on the floor. That's what I'm going to do. But at the same time as a fan, that's why I started my own damn podcast so I can let my opinion fly. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but we got some NBA, we got some NBA we got some NBA games tonight. Lack we got the Pacers and the Magic. They playing right now. It's fifty five fifty. Who you like on that one? Um, Depot. He got to go with Indiana. You going with Indiana? Yes, sir. I like Thaddeus Young, man. Why is Thaddeus Young not talked about amongst like one of the uh, 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 you know assistant power forward talked about in the league? Why is he not talked about? Because he's not like an all-star. He's that solid, you know, Robert Ory type player. Like, he's a solid. He's, he's the best solid player in the NBA. But he double-double. Like he's, double, he's not an all-star. And those are people in the NBA. That's all we talk about, the superstars and the right. all-stars. Right, right. Like, I pick him, I pick him for my fantasy team sometimes. And he give me solid you double. Get your points or so. Yeah, give me solid double doubles like every night and some. Sometimes he'll throw in five or six assists sometimes, and and about two blocks. Yeah. We got the Cavaliers and the Pistons. Cavaliers running over them seventy three to forty six. We already know how that's gonna go. Um, yeah, you already know that. You got the yeah, that's gonna, where it's gonna go. Yeah, you got you got the Hornets and the Timberwolves. Uh, well, the Timberwolves just took the lead, 57-55. That's going to be a good one. You know what? The Timberwolves, is, they, they play off material. I like them. I think Carl Anthony Towns is a top 10 player in the league. You know, definitely that potential. You know, pretty soon, um, as he is going, he's going to work his way up into that top five of the league. Uh, but, man, Kimball Walker just been on that. And then, you know, even, you know, with Kimball uh, with Kimber Walker, you know, you know, a lot of those guys and Charlotte is getting healthy, so you're about to see Charlotte play a little better. Yeah, yeah. Kimball Kimber just lit the Bulls ass up for about 50-something, though, the other night. Yeah, he did. Uh, he went crazy. He got the Jazz and 76ers. Old boy Ben. Ooh. Got Big Ben. I'm going to go Philly. 
Gonna go with Philly. If he is all right from that falling trip, um, what was it yesterday or the day before? If he's okay, I'm gonna take the Sixers in that game. Hey, you know who people just forgetting about low key, but he been doing all right. Uh, Ricky Rubio down there in Utah, man. He's scoring the ball. Yeah. He been scoring. He's actually been doing yeah. all right down there in Utah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, he been doing more than, like, passing the ball. He actually been scoring. Yeah. But, man, don't forget that boy from Duke Hood, Rodney Hood. Oh, yeah, Rodney Hood. Hood is balling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rodney Hood, Hood is balling. That, that's, another, that's another one of my fantasy players I mess with, too. Low key. Yeah. Rodney Rodney Hood give you some good points. Like some real good points. Yeah, he do. Also Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, do. Donovan Mitchell. He he I like that man. Line. Donovan Mitchell was nice. I really like him too, yeah, man. I like him. Uh then you got the Clippers and the Knicks. Clippers up 34-31. Um, uh, you know, um I mean you got Blake and DeAndre, you know, those two bigs and the unicorn for the English. So that, that's a that's a pretty cool game. Tim Hardaway Jr. doing his thing. Uh the, the point guard from France. You know, I, I, you know, it's a good game, but you know, I'm 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 gonna give it to the Clippers. I think they they you know, six, six seven in a row need <laughs> to win after the block they took. Yeah. You know, I think they get the win too. Trail Blessed Grizzlies. Grizzlies up twelve six. Man, you know, those hard young men grizzlies, you just you, you know, I know uh, Colin is hurt with, with the knees right now. He's trying to learn to that back. But, um, you know, they just, they, they just got a culture. And, and you know, kind of like San Antonio, but it's all defense. They say, you know what, whoever scores, go, but we stopping everybody. Right. I mean, they, 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 in the field team, they'll be a great <laughs> But, uh, you know, basketball is going to play two wins on the floor. So defense is going to get them in the playoffs, but they're going to need to score but um, in this one, it depends on McCullum and um, Lillard. Uh, Lillard, how how well they play, especially if they own. If they own, you know, I can, but if they shoot cold, it, it, it's too many stops on defense for uh, uh, for uh, Memphis. Yeah, Thunder, Thunder and Pelicans, Thunder just beating their ass right now. It's twenty five to six. Uh, I don't think I, don't, I think yeah. Anthony Davis out. I think he out uh, yeah, with, a, he with a concussion. Yeah, 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 he's out with a concussion. So, yeah, no, 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 out. no. AD, AD is actually playing. He got four points right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just heard. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's, that's, that's what I'm about here. When people talk about the venom, you know, Anthony Davis is always going to be mentioned, but, like, I'm having to, you know, give Cousins a slight advantage because Cousins is, is always healthy. And the, the video game numbers... <laughs> you know, man, he, yeah, first team all NBA uh, stats for sure. Yeah, he sure will. I don't know. I got. I got to ride with. I got to ride with the Illinois kid, man. I'm going with uh, AD. I'm gonna still take AD over Cousins, man. Yeah, but okay. If they make the playoffs, who is your first team all NBA? I still go with AD. You gonna go with a, you gonna go with, uh, Davis over um, Cousins? Yeah, because I I don't like Cousins constantly going out taking that three point shot, man. I want him more inside. Okay, but so, he's making it though. That's the thing. He's, he's making them. The point, the center. He got people. He, I mean, he body bagging. Everybody with a top power forward in the league and center. He's been killing all of them. If you say you're the top, he's thirty six, fifty eight, four, like. He put it like he really open. <laughs> I don't know. I, got, I might have to check cousins out a little bit more, then, man. I got to check him out. He made uh, call. He made uh, uh, Carl Anthony Towns look like a, like he was still in Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> he made Carl Anthony Towns when they played in the Southern Sounds had no points. Like, Damn. He, like, he had like six and nine, and Damn. cousins had like thirty five, fifteen, eight assists. Three steals, four blocks. It was something crazy. Damn, Boogie was getting down like that. Man, don't That's what Damn. Doing. All right, the Wizards, the Bucks. Got the Wizards up seventeen ten. That's gonna be a good one. Good Eastern Conference matchup. Yeah, that's good. I like I like the Wizards in that. All right, later on, Celtics, Mavericks, Hawks, Spurs, and the last game of the night, Nuggets and Kings. The Celtics, I say the winning streak continues. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The Spurs 
Raw's a close one, I think. So they'll bounce back. 